are at the uh, 2017 NAB convention. We have all the latest Cine Mills gear here, and one of the things that we're here to talk about today is uh, solar powering your lighting equipment. Now, this was never possible before because obviously lighting equipment required so much power and current that you needed generators and other things. But because of these new lights and the uh, the low power needs of LED lighting, you're able to power a lot of lights on very small equipment. So right now, we brought with us this suitcase powered 200 watt solar panel system. Now this actually folds up into a suitcase. Now we're hooking that up into a small portable sine wave inverter package that's 1250 watts. Well you say 1250 watts, I mean that's nothing, but hey, that's enough to power more than four of the big SUFAs. So we, in a practical sense, have powered with one inverter system, four of these lights for four hours on one battery system with one simple extension cord. Now this is major cost savings in terms of electricians, power cabling, and time, and everything. So you don't have to have the solar panels. Obviously, if there's no sun, you don't need the solar panels. You can roll on batteries. But when you're doing a fill shot, like somebody sitting in the shade, and you want to fill with one of these lights, it's, it's great to have. You run a neutral power situation, no loss. We have a little sticker on our vehicles that talks about green partners. Well, you know, if we all do a little something towards green energy, we can all make a difference. So it may not seem like a big deal, but if everything goes this way, we can all save a lot of energy and therefore save a lot of wear and tear on our planet. So let me show you the inverter. Let's go over here. So down here, we're using a little device called a Yeti, which is a very cool little inverter package with a built-in 100 amp battery source. We've got one extension cord plugged into it that's powering a pair of the big SUFAs. You can see down here, maybe, that it's pulling 443 watts. And right now, with the way the solar panel is, is situated, we're giving back 70. So we're using up about 300 and some odd watts negative right now, so our battery eventually will wear down. But uh, this is designed, as I turn off the light, I can turn on and off the outlets from here. It'll change how much you're charging. You can charge your batteries back up. This whole thing has also USB outputs and other things, so you could power a lot more on the set. Uh, in theory, you could be powering up your camera equipment and other things easily with one thing for a short period of time. We're traveling with a spare 100 amp battery in parallel because yesterday we didn't plug it in, so we needed a little extra power because we, uh, we neglected to plug it into the solar panel. Also, if you do get in a shade environment, now you are on your own, theoretically, if you didn't have an outside source. So carrying an extra battery can be a good thing if you feel like having that reserve power and assuming you have no other sources of energy. Here we have, obviously, other sources of energy, but we are right now relying completely on the solar panels and that battery to power those pair of lights. So it's cool technology. It's certainly where we need to be headed because A, it makes filmmaking more economical and it cuts down on your setup time and it certainly uh, helps the planet, which is something we all have to think about. You know, we all live on this little floating spaceship here. We need to take care of it. Todd Fisher signing off from NAB.